Oi, Matt, I've asked you. Please, I, this is not... Come One on, of my most here. magic moments is without a doubt from last summer. Yeah was when you let me have a go on one of these wing fins. Now the fin I use was a lot bigger than this. From my perspective, it was like you were able to sprinkle in a little bit of the foiling dynamic into windsurfing while still keeping it windsurfing. And it felt like normally when you'd reach that point where you're going upwind with a nice VMAX, so good velocity and angle, you'll hit that limit. And what it felt to me like was the wing was just lifting me up out of the water and giving me another five degrees and a pile more speed as well. It was just magic. And everything was so smooth, like the whole rocking action of the board, everything had been dampened. It was just a moment of pure it balance. It the whole sailing experience, as we keep saying. That wing tends to keep, like a tail wing of an aeroplane, it tends to keep it even, okay, without undulating. It kept the board trim very even. It cranked up wind, and a few people have noticed this, that I go up wind, wind very, very well. I've had a 65 kilo sailor use one of these things and he said to me it made him feel so much more powerful because he could stay sheeted in, in the gusts, where normally he'd be sort of, you know, tail walking and stuff. This kept it flat so he could stay powered up. So he actually went faster overall, whether it's top speed, which I think his top speed probably did increase, but um, just the level of comfort is, is, uh, is improved. Some of the guys have got some very good nautical miles on these and I think we can put that down to control in, in chop. Top end, um, difficult to say. Off the wind, yes, there is a little bit of a, there's a little bit of, you know, if, if this is extreme off the wind, hey, Matt. It takes away the undulation, so when you're going down off the back of a wave, it tends to sort of, instead of allowing the front to come off with some foot pressure, it wants to keep it going straight. So you can sometimes hit the back, but with a bit of practice, you actually can overcome that by just a little bit of anticipation. So you just change your style. It's still work in progress, basically. Um, you know, so uh, I'd hate to release this now and then find that we've actually found something really new and better in six months time. Playing around with these is a bit of fun. I mean, it's it's just something that, that, that there's an advantage and it's fun to, to play around with. So, you know, that's what windsurfing is all about. It's a really interesting space at the moment with uh, the variable tail technology the angle of attack research and development, yep. the dampening, more suspension to go with the tail. One thing is that you have to really, if you are to move forward, if you are moving forward, I should say, you need to understand exactly what you're doing. And you need to, you need to know, not, not get information from someone else necessarily. I mean, sometimes we do, but you need to understand why you're doing things. And there's a lot of stuff I think that's been said in windsurfing and in other water sports that might not necessarily be 100% true. We're searching for the truth. The stick of truth will save us. Yeah, that's right. There's a lot of innovation been happening and there's going to be a lot more innovation happening because that's what we enjoy doing. We love the sport and we're sailors and, and I guess we're always, uh, every time we go sailing and every time we're on the board, I'm looking at it going, I wonder if I could just change that slightly or if I could move that strap forward or perhaps this or that or the other. I think the smile on your face is probably the most important thing at the end of the day. If you leave the water and you're happy, that's a successful windsurf. Let's wrap it up. All right. We're out. Okay. Cheers.